Hello everyone and welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto 5. Last time what we did was uh, we picked up the uh, nine of the Epsilon tracks. One of them I got a while back. Uh, and we also um, did the knife flights, which those were quite challenging to say the least. <clears throat> So this time, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be murdering my thumb or finger or whatever finger I choose to use in the triathlon. And I looked up. Haven't you got better things to do? Wait, what? Excuse me, I have the cops after me? Trevor, what in the hell did you do? Oh my goodness, this is bad. I didn't even do anything and I have the cops after me. Yeah, there's your tax dollars hard at work, Trevor. I don't know about you, but I'm running into the mobile meth labs and then getting the hell out of here. But I'm actually really happy I got to see that. Uh, I didn't know <laughs> you can switch to Trevor and end up, you know, just having the cops after you just because. Because that's what it looks like to me. Because I don't know what he did. Alright, well, thankfully, I don't have them on me anymore. That was really weird. Unusual. the icon for triathlon there it is I, I must be blind but anyways um wow that was interesting I was not expecting to have the cops after me or just switching to Trevor I didn't even know that was uh possible okay let's not get him after me again Good God, man, I just got them off me. I don't need them on me again. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're going to be doing the three triathlons. One of them is insanely long. Um, and then we're also going to be finishing the parachute jumps. Which, obviously, we're going to be doing those as Franklin. Um, and then... Um, I guess after we do all the parachute jumps, there is a Dom mission that we have to do. And I hope it involves killing him, because I can't stand the dude. Um, what? I... Something about a red truck, and I am definitely in a red truck. They're trying to get Trevor for even though he's not wanted, I guess? Uh, that's interesting, but I, I better look the hell out then. Because, um... Yeah, that... It, it probably would be wise for me to keep my eyes peeled for any of the police that want to, uh, you know, get after me just cuz. Just cause they can, I guess. I don't know why I've been calling them police. I don't know. I just find it so fun. I, I saw like the word pool, 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 pool police on Facebook, and there was a comment that said, "Oh, so the police said something along the lines of that." So P O O L I C E. God, I can't even spell it. But yeah, I, would, I don't know, I found it so funny. Pooies. So I've been saying that, you know, ever since I've seen it. I'm like, shit, God forbid I get pulled over. And end up calling him Pooies. I'm getting pulled over by the Pooies. The Pooies is chasing after me. 
I do not like me too much. I'll tell you that right now. Um, one this guy I haven't Snapchat actually went to high school with him. I guess he's a cop down in Florida, and I'm just like, oh boy. And this guy was. He was a real character in high school. I'll tell you that. His name was Sterling. Uh, he was a real character. He was a real jerk, too. He was not a very nice guy to me. So, um, am I surprised that he's a cop? I, I don't know if I'm exactly surprised, but it's not what I was expecting him to be. But I feel like the job title fits him perfectly. Oh no, I am definitely in the wrong location in here. <laughs> oh, precious. You're such a baby. I'll be fucked. <laughs> but anyways, um yeah, he's a he's a freaking cop and I see like the posts he makes on Snapchat. Sometimes I'm like uh, cool beans. Congrats. Oh, do I really have to climb? Damn it. No, really, Trevor? Why? Oh, okay. But, yeah, I was just like, as soon as I seen that he, you know, the first snap, I'm like, oh my god, you're a cop now? <laughs> but, I mean, I just make that money, I guess. Uh, but I would definitely see him the type to be a racist cop because he was pretty racist in high school, so I actually come to think of it, I am not surprised in the slightest that he is a cop. But, uh, whatever, I guess whatever suits him best. Yes, I will enter the triathlon. A triathlon is a multi-sport race. Swim, cycle, and run to the finish line. Tapping A will increase your speed, will deplete your stamina, which I think my stamina is mass. The more you push yourself, the faster your stamina will de deplete. Push too hard and you will drain your health as well. Oh, there's a separate bar. Okay. Regain some stamina after each leg if it goes below half. Pressing right on the D-pad will... Oh, goodness. But, yeah. Anyways, uh... I am going to be speeding this up now. So, enjoy! Come on. Oh, for... I did not do good. I did not do good at all. Because I kept falling off the bike. It's like I f fucking flung myself off twice. Ugh, man. Give me your fucking car. Uh, 
Anyways, where is the next triathlon? No, I said... Oh, way up there. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, fuck, that was quite painful, actually, and that was just the first one. I had to really mash the button to catch up. I was like, holy shit, man. And I know there's one of them. The last one is horrible. That one's like over 30 minutes long. And I'm just like, oh my god. Man, I'm not looking forward to it. It's like, I gotta get my button mashing ready. I don't know if I fuck. I mean, I paused. But yeah, that was... Wow. It's like, I kept fucking flinging myself. I kept running into everything with the bike. I feel like that's where I'm really struggling most, is with the bike riding. Because if you run into something, you just get flung forward. Damn it, I missed the turn! So that means, um... Third. Shut up. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just... Man. I was not expecting that, though. To be as difficult. Um, but yeah, that, I did not get first place in that one. But I managed to get some sort of medal, which I guess is really all that counts. Is if you place third or higher. Or get, from what I read, it's if you get some sort of medal. Which is, uh, third place is a bronze medal. Um, that will unlock the next one, and I'm just like, man, I was not expecting to be so fast, though. But yeah, that stamina bar, that didn't really do much, because the stamina for Trevor, uh, for all three of them, actually, is at 100%. Um, so I'm really not too concerned about their stamina, but I'm more concerned about my physical stamina. I mean, me having to butt mash the whole goddamn thing, and oh man, that final one. I, I look at that one on Steven Place Challenge, whew, that looks horrible. But, um, Mario Party should, be, should have prepared me for this. Uh, but yeah, the main issue with the Xbox controllers is not the easiest controller to button mash with because of the way the buttons are. Um, like, it takes significantly more of a press for it to actually register than a GameCube controller and N64 controller. Like, the GameCube controllers are very easy to, to button mash with. Actually, I think out of all the controllers, I think that one's the easiest to button mash with, especially the A button because of the fact that it's so big and, you know, just the way the button clicks. I love the GameCube controller. I think it's one of the best designed controllers and probably Nintendo's best designed controller. It's just, it's very, very comfy to me. I love the way it feels in my hand. I love the shoulder buttons. Um, and especially with the shoulder buttons, I wish that it's something... Yeah, I think so, Trevor. But especially with the shoulder buttons, I think that, um, I wish they would do that more, but they only... Nintendo is notorious for only just, you know... Like, for example, on the Xbox controller, you have the triggers and then the two upper buttons. Nintendo is notorious just for making all their shoulder buttons, like the LB and RB buttons, basically. Okay. Anyways, I am ready. <laughs> oh, fun. First place for this one. Oh man. Well, that one was much easier with the bike because you had a long straightaway. Oh boy, my arm is starting to feel like jello, but oh boy, this is nothing compared to what we got coming up. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh hey, my car is here. The one that I stole. Anyways, where is the next one? Oh, literally right there. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I do not know if I'm ready for this crap. 
I'm telling you, man. Is this the right one? Yes, it is, because that's the only one that's not, uh, that doesn't have the check mark on it. Oh boy, and this one is gonna be the bad one, because this one's like upwards of 30 minutes. I am not looking forward to it. And I gotta really get myself pumped up here. <laughs> Man, let's do this.
god. Oh my god. I did it. Oh my god. I cannot believe I got first place in that. I, I thought for a while I wasn't even in the place because I was in like fourth, fifth, and just going back and forth. And then there was that time where I fell off my bicycle, which I knew that was going to happen. But, oh my god. My... I swear to God, if I develop Carpal Tunnel, I am suing Rockstar for this shit. I am suing. Just like how the Joker is trying to sue for, ooh, $5,000. But just like how, um, freaking the Joker from, the prisoner from Florida is trying to sue Rockstar for using his likeness in the game. I'm gonna sue Rockstar for giving me Carpal Tunnel because of his goddamn triathlon that I just had to do. Holy moly, man. I was not ex oh my god. I was not expecting to be having to press the button that fast the whole time. Good god, man. But that's another uh, miscellaneous oh, thing complete. My left hand is killing me right now. Cause this has been ripped to this controller. And I probably was squeezing it a little harder than I should have. But, uh, oh man, that is just, oh, my hand is absolutely killing me right now. I cannot believe, oh, oh my god, oh goody, oh, oh hi, oh, that's what happened here, I got security guard, what, oh, there's a pencil, but anyways, um, oh no, I got people coming after me because I just stole this car, after I just won this triathlon, I'm still gonna get the cops after me, oh, might as well go, 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 and I'm gonna be actually saving this car into, the, into Trevor's garage because I don't think Trevor has any cars, in his uh, garage, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, um, oh god, um, let's please uh, make our way up this hill so I can escape the cops. My I don't know why, but my left hand is the one that's killing me right now because I was button mashing with my right hand. Um, uh, but yeah, I think it was just because I was squeezing the controller so hard that. Okay, I just pressed A like I thought I had to repeatedly press it to drive a car. I need to get out of that mindset now. Um, because good god, I, I was not expecting them to be that fast. Like, I thought it would have just been a, you know, mild tapping A. Just, you know, at a decent place, not basically full-on button mashing almost the whole time, like in a Mario Party minigame. But I will say Mario Party minigames definitely did help prepare for that, because, oh my god, had I had never played Mario Party, I would have probably struggled. And button mashing minigames are my strong suit in Mario Party, if you haven't noticed. I win pretty much almost every single button mashing minigame, and I've won almost every single one of them in the series, come to think of it. Um, and I just, I don't know, those are the minigames I seem to be best at, is the button mashing one. So I, I will say I definitely came prepared for that one, but I was kind of at the same time not prepared to be pressing it as fast as I was the whole time. Like, I thought... Well, as soon as I get to the garage, um, you'll, I'll, you know, put the microphone, or I put, I'll put the controller up to the microphone so you can kind of hear how fast I can have to press it the whole time. Well, almost the whole time. There were a couple times where, you know, I slowed down, and then I had to pause, especially towards the end, because my arm was just getting so tired, and I just, I needed to get that last push in, because it was at the very goddamn end, and I was not going to lose that right at the end. No goddamn way. Oh, that was ridiculous, though. Ugh, man, my arm is just absolutely killing me now. Well, my my left hand and my right arm. Uh, like I said, I hope I don't develop carpal tunnel because I I kind of felt my hand like locking up. You know. But anyways, um, this was basically how fast I had to press the A button. Almost the whole time, and then you know when I slow down, I would you know. When I thought it was just gonna be a, I thought it was gonna be like that, but no, you have to definitely go faster than that. But holy crap, man, that was insane. I am gonna do a quick save because I never want to do that again. <laughs> holy shit. Anyways, um, what we are going to do now is we are going to be switching back over to Franklin 
because I am also going to be finishing the parachute jump. And um, taking care of the last Dom mission. Oh yeah, that's a great pastime, sitting in Los Santos traffic. Okay, well I know one of these is, um, you gotta climb up the fucking thing. And that is going to be a real treat to do. Right after I just got done mashing the A button, I'm gonna be mashing it some more. Well, not necessarily mashing it, but it'll definitely be pressing it a lot. So I gotta climb up one of these. I think the other one I gotta use a helicopter to get up. Oh no, I see, I see exactly where I need to go. It's not this one. I mean, if this one's like close to the ground, we'll just do this one first. I don't know. Oh, I got a trash can and a fence. Or a bench, not a fence. Okay, well, if it's just a... Yes, I will gladly start parachuting. Am I... Where am I going to go? Oh boy, on top of the Maze Bank Tower. Dom got a lot to answer for. What? Am I really gonna have to drive off the roof and parachute onto the target? Oh goodness me. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to probably swing it around. And boom! All right, mission passed. Or 90, pa or parachute jump passed. 97%? Oh, I was right in the bullseye, come on. You couldn't have given me that. Precious. Precious. But that was a quick and easy one there. Alright, get out of your Ford Explorer. Run! Ooh, you see the baby. Ooh. Ooh, the little baby. Me and the baby. Yes, I know. You see the baby. Oh, yes, let's crash into the car. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, they're dead. Now let's run over the traffic light while we do that. Or knock it over, rather. Oh boy, he, oh there's my, there's my car right there, but, oh man, I gotta climb that, whoa, I gotta climb that crane, D don't you even think about it, you fucker, okay, where do I, oh, here, okay, oh my goodness, I did not want to have to press the A button repeatedly anymore, but yet, here I am, good god, man, that was just ridiculous, oh boy, and yep, I remember, uh, having to go up here, I can't remember if it was for, uh, I think it was for a spaceship part. It was either for the letter or the spaceship part. Or the letter strap or whatever it was. I definitely remember doing this though. And then on the way down, I freaking died. I tried going down, but uh, I messed up and I ended up uh, falling and then dying. And I don't want to do that. On my way up. Oh my god, my, I swear my hand is literally locking up. I'm not even kidding you. But thankfully, I think this will be the last stream. Where I'm having to, you know, put in music and speed it up. And I'm not gonna be doing that for any of the parachute jumps, because like I said, those are really short for the most part. But, oh my god, man. Um, anyways. Let's just keep on making our way up. Is my microphone like, really that far from me? Or what? I don't know. Oh boy. We got to be almost there. I know we're almost there. Gosh, oh, I'm, I'm very well aware. I appreciate that sign, because. I don't know, I was thinking about jumping off this crane to my doom. Those jokes aren't funny, man, I should stop. I've been there before. I I'm not gonna talk about it right now, fuck no, I'm not in the mood to talk about my suicidal thoughts and all that shit that I used to have. Not right now, I'm, I'm too busy living my life, and I'm not exactly 100% content with it, but I'm definitely better off than what I was seven years ago when, I think it was the last time I tried, no, actually the last time was uh, getting close to five years ago.
Yeah, about five. No, actually, four years ago because the last time I tried killing myself was during COVID. But like I said, I'm not gonna go into that nonsense. And no, I didn't try to kill myself when I had to put my cat Chloe to sleep, but I definitely considered it because of how low of a point that was in my life when that occurred. I am ready to start parachuting. Where the hell am I gonna have to parachute? What goes up? What the? I don't think this was a good idea. That is jump off the train. What? No way. Parachute onto the truck? Another one of these? Oh. No, I'm gonna. I know I'm gonna have trouble with this. Oh my god, no way. I did not just get that my first try, man. Uh, I am now on this truck. Get the fuck out the truck. Get the fuck off the truck! Okay, anyways, um... I think I only have two more parachute jumps. One of them is on top of a building, and then the other one is... up there, which... I think I'm gonna go for the one on top of the building, personally, because I'm not too terribly far from... where the, uh... Which we call it the news headquarters are. Which is funny, I just got them talking about my suicidal thoughts. And the word news comes up. That's actually one way I tried killing myself was hanging myself, but it did not work out well. Um, definitely not gonna go over that. Uh, you know, I think I may have already, you know, kind of went into a little bit of depth on my suicidal thoughts and actions in The Cat Lady. That is a fantastic game, by the way. I highly recommend you guys check that out and check out the videos of that project. That was actually one of my favorite projects I've ever done. Um, but yeah, that game, you know, definitely hits right at home for me. And I am at some point going to get myself a semicolon tattoo to uh, signify that I am a suicide attempt survivor. So, yeah, I, I, I really don't, I don't know, I keep on saying I'm not going to talk about it, and here I am fucking talking about it. So that's, that's just me for it. And it's like, I want to, you know, because it, it does make me emotional, you know, when I talk about that, because it's a very, I don't know, it's a very sensitive topic to me, because, you know, it's about the troubles that I've had in, in my past, and I really don't want to relive it. And I'm just saying, I'm very glad that, you know, I don't feel that way anymore. I... I definitely feel like, you know, I, I know I matter to people. I, and I think that was my biggest issue back then was I, I just, I felt like I didn't mean anything to anybody. When, in reality, I know I mean something to, you know, my family and my friends. And, you know, it's always good to have reassurance, you know, because there, you know, there every once in a while I'll have my doubts. And, and one thing is, uh, if you're, if you're, I feel like if you were a good friend to somebody, you would reassure them so that they know that, you know, we're, hey, we're on good terms. We're, we're here for you, basically. Um, and that's one of the best things you can do as a friend is, you know, just reassure them that, you know, you're their friend. It's not because of, you know, trust issues or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's always good to have, you know, some reassurance, you know, that people care about you and that people love you. It's always, always good to have that reassurance there. And, um, and it's definitely not a topic that I, you know, I take with a grain of salt. Man, I'm just breaking everything. Oh, God. Okay, please move out of the way, sir, because I don't want to have however many stars it is for running over somebody in news. Uh-oh. Oh, well, too late there. Shit. Well, here we go. Now I got them after me. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh boy, let's hurry the hell up and climb. Oh boy, oh god, oh god. Oh man, I am not gonna make it. Nope, ah, damn it! I, that was a terrible idea, me getting into the fucking semi truck, and now I gotta make my way all the way the fuck back there. Damn it. Now, knowing my luck, the fucking chopper probably won't be there. I literally saw it up there. Now, knowing my luck, the chopper will not be there. And I'm gonna have to die again. And then, ugh, god damn it. It's gonna literally take me forever. Get the fuck out of your car, I'm not playing around. 
I am part of the noose. I, I almost guarantee you that helicopter is not going to be there now because it was there last time. Hopefully I did not just get the cops out. <laughs> oh, that, that's... Oh, they're chasing after the taxi. What the hell? I've never seen that before. I don't know why the map insists on taking me this way. It's like, do we really have to go into oncoming traffic here? Yeah, I almost guarantee you it's not going to be there. And that means I'm going to have to die again just for it to show up. That, that was his own goddamn fault for, you know, going in front of the fucking gate when I was trying to get through it. That was his own fault there, so I don't know why I got the cops after me. And then it just, ugh, ran. Yeah, I thought the truck would have been able to fit through that, but no, it was too, it was too tall. Just a tiny bit too tall, because those exhaust pipes are sticking out of the top. But yeah, I almost guarantee that it's not going to be there, and I'm going to have to die again, and then, then it'll be there. Oh no, I, I think I see it up there, actually. Yes, I do, and I just hope it's still there when I get there. And please, for the love of God, do not hit any of the guards, because I just found out that they will come after you if you hit one of them. Which, I'm not surprised, I kind of knew that that would happen, but I was like, eh, I didn't want to hit them, but kind of ended up working out that way. But strange, if you hit one of them, they'll come after you, but they will not come after you for stealing their helicopter. I find that very odd. Like, I, honestly, when I first read that you could actually take the helicopter from here, I thought you would have immediately got three stars. At least three stars for, for taking their helicopter, but... But no, you actually don't get wanted at all for taking their helicopter, which I find very, very bizarre. But yet, if you hit one of them, ooh, 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 you are definitely going to be wanted. Um, but anyways. Is there really- oh, there's a door. I don't think you can go- yeah, you can't go through there. That's the only way I can think of to get up here. Anyways, uh, I know that took probably longer than it should have to do that. And bananies, this is the parachute jump that I tried getting up to a while ago, but I couldn't because it requires a helicopter to get up there. More flying, yay! But thankfully, the helicopter is significantly easier to control. But I mean, then again, I do have more practice with the helicopter. I did get a little bit of practice, and I guess with the airplane, but... Uh, still, that was not... Not ideal. I mean, I guess I could have went to the flight school to, you know, help improve it, but... And I didn't do that, obviously. Uh, God, I really hope this last dom mission is for me to fucking kill this bastard because I can't stand him. I can't stand his missions. Okay. I'm gonna guess the parachute jump is on the top of this building here. Okay, let's not run into the building, please. Yeah, I bet you anything the parachute jump is gonna be on the top of this building. No? Unless I am actually blind and don't know where the parachute jump is. I thought for sure it would have been on the top of this building. I will be back or so we're gonna figure out where the fuck this parachute jump is. Okay, um, I just looked it up and apparently it's at ground level and I guess I'm a fucking idiot. Because I thought it was on the top of the building. But no, it's actually at ground level. Because apparently I couldn't see the... Uh, well, maybe it was because when I was looking for it, I thought I was supposed to be looking for a helicopter. Not a parachute. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, regardless, we found it. That's right, and the D-pad to start parachuting. Mm -mm. Okay, so we have to go on top of that building. Why didn't they just put the parachute up there? That's what doesn't make any sense to me. All right, let's do this. Oh god. Aim for the fairway. What? Oh boy. Uh oh, well, that was not a very good jump. I am going to definitely retry that jump because that was not a very good jump. I just straight up fell. That wasn't even a jump. Oh boy. At this point, just kind of a, eh, maybe lower myself a little bit. Here, yeah, I don't want to. You know, damn it. Oh, oh god, that is a tiny target. And ninety nine percent. 
Not bad. Uh, but anyways. <coughs> Excuse me now. Oh boy. I said I don't have PTSD from this fucking place. Now this was one of the worst of the, uh, the stunt jumps was here. On that bridge there. Because I kept on fucking hitting the thing with the top of the, the golf cart. I tried a police car. I tried, a, I think, one other car. And then I tried the golf carts. And one of them was too tall. So I tried the golf cart that didn't have a roof on it. And that actually worked. And one of the times, I swear, I had the landing. And it, like, nope. Stunt jump failed. And it just... Man, those stupid stunt jumps. Man, they are so picky on... On what counted and what didn't. Um, but anyways. Get out of here. I am not interested in the Windows update right now. Um... Anyways. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the stunt jumps. It's like they were so picky on you had to land like a certain way for the count. And I was fully expecting those knife light things to be just as picky. But um no, they were actually very generous with those. Oh yeah, we're at the golf course, and that means there are a bunch of nice cars here. Any Audis for us to take? No, looks like a bunch of uh Ferraris or whatever. There are no Audis here. That's bullshit. I mean this is a nice car, but Oh yes. So nice, let's already crash it. Anyways, um, now, I think we just have one more parachute jump. If I am not mistaken. Now, I mean, I guess I could just go through the list. Yeah, just the one. Alright, well, cool beans. Now, let's just make our way there. Um, yeah, that's the last parachute jump. And then, hopefully, after that bullshit... Oh, I fucking killed Damien. Wait, Damien? Dom, why the hell did I say Damien? I mean, I guess I did have an issue with dying with Damien. I don't know why I'm back. <laughs> Speaking of people I've had issues with in my past, um, I found out literally like a couple days ago that a kid that I did not get along with in elementary school, yeah, I somehow was friends with him on Facebook, I don't know how the hell that happened, but apparently, he is a registered level 2 sex offender in the state of Washington, and I'm like, okay, um, I never liked that guy, I thought, well, in school I thought he was just annoying, like, and I don't remember anybody really liking him, as far as I'm concerned, I, I think I had, I think it was second, no, it was third grade, I think I had, I, had, I was, in his, he, me and him were in the same third grade class, back in elementary school, and, um, oh yeah, me and him did not like each other, me and him, actually, this is probably the pettiest thing ever, but it's something that third graders talk about, he had his stuff, like, in my space, at, you know, when we had, like, these big tables, like, for whatever reason, my third grade teacher, she had, like, tables, and not desks, and I got so mad that he had, like, all of his stuff in my space, so that I barely had any space to do anything, and I got mad at him about it, and I, I shoved him, <laughs> and I, I got in trouble for that, but, yeah, that was, yeah, that's the same guy, apparently he's now a sex offender, um, and, you know, I got curious, and looked up his case, it turns out, uh, it's about, indecent liberties or whatever the thing said and he was 18 at the time when he registered he was 18 and um apparently he was doing something with a 15 year old girl and i was like uh that's yeah you're 18 and you're basically uh doing stuff with a minor yeah that's not good so yep he got that sex offender charge there and then i don't know after what i heard he continued good god he destroyed this car before i ever get there but apparently uh from the post that i read uh he did not stop he actually continued doing this and he's Apparently a no- oh, that's the boss. Don't remember that. But, um, apparently he is a known sex offender that has a history of doing this. And I'm like, yeah, and I guess he, uh, for the post, so he put some, let's see, younger girls into sex trafficking. And I'm like, good god, what the hell did I go to school with? I'm like, wow, what a piece of shit. And that, that, he needs to be locked up for that shit. Like, that's, ugh, like, that's pretty low. Like, I don't know, I don't have much respect for people that do that. I mean, I never really had much respect for the guy in the first place. But, um, that didn't make me lose what little respect I had, you know? You know, hearing about that, I'm just like, what in the hell? I was... I'd be lying if I said I was surprised. If I wasn't surprised, because I was actually shocked. I never thought that, you know, he would have done something like that. It's like, I, I knew I did not like him, because I thought it was annoying. I did not think that he would ever come out to be a sex offender. And again, I never thought that in third grade either. It's like, third graders just don't think like that. You know, I never thought he was a sex offender. I don't know, I found that pretty wild when I seen his name. It's like, when I seen the name... Ethan Kudrowski on there. I'm like, wow, that name definitely rings a bell. Excuse me, a train? But anyways, uh, well, my guess there is I'm gonna have to land on the train. Mmm, <coughs> excuse me. But anyways, um, I was just like, what in the fuck? And I, I looked up, and I was like, oh, that is definitely the same kid. Like, not a kid. We're all adults now, but I knew when he was in third grade, and I was in third grade. So we're about to... Oh boy, where is the train? Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Way down there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to loop around. Oh, so close! I was right there! Oh, and I also... Wait, what? <laughs> I just failed two times? I didn't know that was a thing. I just... Oh, failed. Franklin landed too far away. And then, 22 seconds later, failed. Franklin died. But anyways, um, yeah, I was just like, what in the fuck, man? I did not think that but I mean I guess you, you really don't expect hearing that oh your former classmate is now a sex offender but uh, knowing that's out in the open now probably a lot of my classmates are now finding out about this cause it's cause he's associated with uh, you know Oh yeah, when hmm, give me the percent. And there's the dumb mission. Oh boy, but I am very far away from civilization, so I need a vehicle. But anyways, yeah, I just was like, oh my gosh, but I can't imagine. I don't know what my other classmates really think of it, if they even heard that this happened. But so like, I sure did, because you know, I I try to stay in the loop. You know about what the hell goes on around here uh, because you know I, I I do like to know what the fuck is going on around here um, but yeah I also they also showed like its address on like the sex offender registry website and um, hopefully that car does not leave because I am going to take it. But um, apparently. Oh, wait, that's the car I left there. Uh, but, anyways. Yeah, apparently he. It says that he lives. Um, in Everett, downtown Everett, and I'm like, oh goody, I work in downtown Everett. Well, not necessarily downtown Everett, but, uh, it's in Everett, I'll tell you that much right now. Why the hell are you all the way out here? But anyways, um, yeah, I was just like, what in the fuck, man? But, I mean, I guess he does kind of have the pedo stash now in that picture that was on the sex offender website. Uh, but, yeah, he's associated with a missing 18-year-old um, girl. And, apparently, the, the story that I uh, gathered from Facebook was, um, oh, my God, look at all the deer that I don't want to hit. Um... But apparently, um, yeah, she went to meet up with him, and apparently, uh, her parents have not had contact with her in several days, and, uh, I guess she shut off her location, and shut off her phone, and Ethan, the, the sex offender, he shut off his phone and his location also, so... Yeah, definitely something sketchy is going on there. And, you know, as soon as I seen that, I'm like, wait a minute, that name really rings a bell. And then I looked up, and I'm like, oh, this guy. So this is the sex offender, huh? Um, so, yeah, I found that very interesting. That, uh, I don't know, I found that very interesting.
how he managed to be on that. You jerk! Yeah, just fucked up my car. Thanks a lot, dipshit. Ow. Oh, I can't even turn right. That's great. Fucking asshole. I need a new car. I'm blocking the road and I am stealing your truck. Get the fuck out. But anyways, um, I'm gonna be speeding this up, so... <laughs> Uh, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, Dom, what the fuck do you want from me? I just passed you. Oh! It's the dog! Oh yeah. That asshole is about to kill himself. Which asshole? Oh, that perfect investor guy. Shoot. Whatever. You obligated to tell me. Best character in the game right there. But you just made this way? He's this way? But you ought to get cast in a movie role more suitable to your talent? Yeah, hell yeah, man. Go to Don. Where the hell is he at? Uh, obviously, well, not far. Oh, is he up there? Oh, I hope you do kill yourself. That's such a fucked up thing to say, but I hope you do kill yourself. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I need to get back. I said up on the freaking map, but... Oh, fuck. Uh, looks like, like it. Time, huh? Yeah. If I don't hit your vagina on the way down. Hey man, I ain't too sure about this one. Yeah, no I kidding. Dog was the real deal. What dog? I don't know how to explain it, man. Well, it's your call. <gasps> oh boy, here's the moment of truth. The moment I've been waiting for. Oh, oh man! That's what I'm saying, man. What do I do now? Uh, leap of faith. I didn't do that, but I did get six hundred and twenty-six dollars, though. So I I robbed his ass. All right, but hey, I even better than I thought it was gonna be. Not only did he die, I also robbed him. Oh man, I am so happy about that. Um, but anyways, um, that will be it for this one. I'm, uh, this may be a little interesting to edit. Um, but anyways, next time, what we are gonna do is I think it may actually be an actual live stream. Because, uh, yeah, I really don't have much other time-consuming stuff. 
Nah, actually, nah. It's not going to be a live stream, but... Anyways, uh, next time, what we're going to be doing is the lovely sea races. Uh, or just a bunch of races in general. Um, so, yeah. Fun, fun, fun times. We'll see you guys later.